Hello and welcome to the show. My name is Alex and this is Tech Flow. Today's episode is going to be all about lighting this place up with some RGB lights from Govi. Now I currently have lights set up in this garden. However, there's a few issues with them and I'd like to go through those with you now. These lights run on 240 volts, which means there's a live cable that runs around my garden. Now, if water gets inside of this cable, it is going to flip off all of my electricity, which means all of the sockets are gonna go off inside of my house. So those are a few of the annoyances that I would like to be able to mitigate today. Now, as I've mentioned, the lights at the moment are RGB. However, you have to individually change all the lights with one of those little remote most. To smarten them up, I just ran them all to a single socket and connect them into this smart switch. And the last thing I need to mention is all of our garden lights are going to be powered by solar. We've currently got 121 watts coming in right now. Let's go and check out the new lights. So these are the first of many different type of light that I'm going to be installing in the garden. These are the floodlight from Govi and they come in a two pack or a four pack. We've got the two pack here and they're really simple. This is all quite low voltage stuff because you have a transformer at one end, which then has this device, which has all of the smarts and Wi-Fi built into it. So yes, you can change these lights via an app, group them together, set up timers, which with garden lighting is really important because you don't want this stuff on round the clock. Now, all we've got to do is get these things installed. I've got six of these two packs. So yeah, three, two, one, go V. <laughs> So this is the little hobby box idea that I've come up with. And I'm gonna go over this in a second because everybody's outdoor light install is gonna be slightly different. So this is one of the previous LED lights that I'd actually drilled to the base of a tree. Now, if you have trees in your environment, at the base of said tree is always really good. The closer to the base, the better, because it actually will shine up this part of the tree, which is called the trunk. <laughs> Basically, you screw on the stake, super easy, push them into the ground, and then you can aim them where you would like. So this is the outdoor hobby box that I've put together to house all of our controllers. It's 240 volts coming over there from the solar powered shed into here connected into a double socket, which is then running both of our Govi controllers. I've got two lights going that way and two lights going that way. So I've managed to use a watertight grommet for the 240 volts coming into our hobby box. However, the cables for the lights have a proprietary connector on, so I've had to drill a little hole in the bottom here, which we secured with some flex tape. I saw this boat in here. Okay, so we've installed all of our floodlights around the garden. Annoyingly, we're not gonna see what these look like until nightfall, but we've got some new lights to install. These are the floor lights. <laughs> these are the floor lights or the ground lights. Basically, they're these little lights on a massive string. You put in a little spike and they go in the ground. Now, what you would usually do with this is light up, uh, let's say, a path or something. I don't really have a path, so what I'm going to do is light up the brick wall at the end of the garden with them. These are festoon lights. Now, I used to have some of these in my previous garden. They were made out of glass and very annoying when they shattered, which they often did because there'd be glass all over the garden. These are made out of plastic and if you unscrew them in there, you can see the little LED diodes. One thing's for sure, when we're finished, my garden is going to look like Blackpool Illuminations. Okay, so we have basically spent the entirety of today so far installing garden lights. We've just put the festoon lights back here. We've got our floodlights to the right hand side. The back of the garden has the floor lights across the back wall. Now all that's left is these special lights that are usually for American style houses. Annoyingly, my house doesn't have an overhang like most American places. So we're gonna try and stick these little things underneath the gutter. Not sure how this is going to look, but we won't know until we try. Now, 
Now all we need to do is wait for the evening to see how these things are going to look because they look awesome now and the sun is still shining. So let's give it a few hours. We stretch time. We stretch life. Okay, so this gets to be my first time seeing this. I've got all the lights set to warm white, so hopefully they're all grouped together. Three, two, one. Ha! Okay, they look nuts. So if I change that to cold white or cool white, they all go pretty cool. Oh, that is awesome. I don't know what I like better, but you can just choose. These look awesome. Okay, so let's see how much power these things are using. 26 watts, that's unreal. So the last setup was using over double that result. Okay, so let's turn on the studio overhang. Hey, they look a whole lot better than I thought they would. Halloween, Christmas, Christmas gift, what is that? Okay, so there's loads of different like preset effects. To be fair, I think I'll just keep these on white, except from when it is Christmas and you want these to be doing something. They actually look sick. To be fair, instead of the colours, I think I prefer them to be like a warm white. Yeah, that's awesome. There literally isn't a part of this garden that's not lit up now. That's sick. I love the light that these give off. It's like a nice soft light. Yeah, this is awesome. Okay, so they wouldn't be smart lights without some sort of app. Now, obviously, 99% of the time, you're just gonna set and forget with this type of thing. But should you wanna go in and dive, obviously, you can do things like timers on and off certain times of the day. But this is what you're presented with. These are all of the lights that you currently have in your Gobi system. And what you do is you actually navigate to the home page, and this is where you can go ahead and group certain devices. So if I click on this group here, which is basically a group of all the lights behind me, you should be able to see if I turn them off, all the lights behind me turn off. And if I turn them back on again, they should all do the same thing. Obviously changing the color, cool white to hopefully now warm white. Now they do have some cool effects in here. This is the dream view and you can basically go in here and choose different types of effects. They've got heavy rain, sunny rain, thunderstorm, sprinkle, drizzle, and spring shower. And it tells you all the devices that it's going to affect. Okay. And they also can work with your voice or if you play music. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the app's, the app's pretty good, to be fair. But like I say, with my situation, I just want to sort of set and forget. And the odd occasion, I'd like to change the colours. Now, obviously, that's a completely different story with the overhang lights that live on the front of this studio. Definitely, at certain seasons, you are going to want to set those to certain effects. And that is where the app for these is really cool. Now you can go as deep into this as you would like to. However, I just like to go to the scenes here and you can choose from loads of separate scenes that all look really, really cool. This light is definitely the one where you want to use the app the most to customize it. But anyway, guys, this has been the Govi lighting system. I definitely feel like it's leveled up my garden. I'm really knackered because we've had to stay up super late to film this. So with that being said, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. We stretch time. We stretch time.